Today we're going to make 2-in-1 makeup remover milk that is not only going to get rid of the makeup but also going to leave your skin quite fresh. It will have hyaluronic acid and saccharomyces ferment. You might ask what is saccharomyces ferment? It's a very actually quite trending yeast filtrate ferment that is getting very popular. Maybe you have heard of this around but there's a very particular brand that is promoting a 30% toner milk using saccharomyces ferment is actually quite beneficial to your skin because this ferment fermented especially ingredients really really feeds the beneficial bacteria that sits on your skin hence is very very po popular right now before we start formulating I have two announcements to make. One, if you spare a minute and if you can vote for me, I really, really appreciate. My best selling lip mask product has been voted for a finalist for the best lip product by the Pure Beauty Awards. If you're following me on social media, I already made the announcement, but here I'm also asking if you have a minute to spare, then please vote for me. I put the link in the description below. Second announcement, I actually decided to do another make all types of products. Here I'm actually going to teach you how to do all types of creams. I know some of you are already asking for me to do proper creams and emulsions. So I decided to do for a really nice make all types of creams. That's going to start from very basic how to do creams, waterless creams, oil to water creams and water to oil creams. So I'm recording it over the next week and hopefully I'll finish it by next week and then you can start learning how to do proper creams from easy to becoming a really professional making creams, looking cream. As usual, I will give you the structure so that you know how to make them. And I'm gonna give you some samples though. So it's recording over the next week and I hope hopefully I'll finish it for next week. Okay, so these are the two announcements and back to the formulation video. Um, as I mentioned, we're going to make a hyaluronic acid uh, saccharomyces ferment but also towards the end, I'm going to give you the structure of this formula so that you can adjust and add things on this, uh, on this makeup remover milk that you can actually customize for yourself. And without further ado, let's start this nice 2-in-1 remo makeup remover milk. As usual, you can see the recipe formulation on the screen. So I'm adding 0.2% hyaluronic acid, but this is a low molecular one, not the high molecular weight because we don't want this to gel. Another thing, adding very small amount of xanthan gum just to keep the water stage stable. So let's. So now I'm going to start with adding the xanthan gum and hyaluronic acid together. So let's add 0 0.2 hyaluronic acid. Then I'm adding the xanthan gum, which is not much, 0 0.1. 7 gram propanediol. Saccharomyces ferment. This is water soluble, very straightforward. Ferment. So we're going to add 30 grams. Okay, and then let's mix this. Okay, so let's add 50 gram water. Let's mix this. So now let's put this aside and start with the oil part. So let's add 10 gram hemiosqualine and 2 gram in vitro 375, which is the emulsifier so this is called processable, processable emulsifier so it helps um, with the emulsification and keep this uh, formula quite simple and minimalist in a way so we've got two gram okay let's mix this now uh, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to blend them together we have the oil part and we have the water part so I'm gonna mix them together water into this it doesn't matter which you'd add it's, it's because we're going to homogenize this so as you can see it's become a lot of bubbles here so we're just gonna mix continue mixing it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my homogenizer and emulsify this And the last step, we need to add the 0.7 preservative and then I'll measure the pH and that will sum up the formulation and I'm going to do a little product demo. So I added the preservative, let me check the pH. Let's check the pH. pH is 5.0 which is okay for this. Exactly, it's fine. 5.0 which is fine. And let's bottle it up. And then I'm just going to show the product after this. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to put this bottle here. As you can see, it's a very nice milk. As you can see, it's, it's a very nice. Let me just show you how the product works. Okay, so here I got the nice milky toner. Here. So as you can see, it's very clear. And I'm just going to try show you, but it's very, very uh, low viscous product. So I'm just going to put a little bit, not much. But as you can see, it's, it drops out already. But what I'm going to do, I'm actually put, I got some makeup products here. So I got the eyeliner and lip liner. So I'm gonna put these on my hand so that you will be able to see it. What happens? So this is a lip liner, and this is the eyeliner. Although I don't use these on my face. <laughs> what do you think? Should I start doing makeup? <laughs> anyway, so let's put this milky toner. And, and then let's start rubbing it. Okay, and then let's just wipe it off. You can use a common pad as well, like, and you can see it's all gone. Very effective cleanser, and it kind of feels your it is actually it feels very very light to use as well and you know that's why it's i said two in one it actually leaves your um skin very fresh i can put it on a little bit on my skin as well on my face but as as i mentioned it's very very pourable you know yeah as you can see it's runs away milk <laughs> But it feels very, very refreshing, and you know you don't have to even use this product as a like specifically for using the makeup, remove makeup. But it functions as a makeup remover as well. So if you just put it, and it just feels quite refreshing. So we come to now uh, just a couple of things here before we actually move into the products. So. If you can't get the emulsifier in in Vito three seven five, don't worry. I put a couple of links on my description, and you can also watch my caffeine serum, which is the link up here, and we I'll talk about it. So you can also use wax emulsifiers as I mentioned. Just put them very very low amounts. So you know you just want to keep the whole thing quite like a water basic. And um, another thing is that um, if you can't get the hemisqualine, you can use coco caprolate ecosilk as well, low rate and things like that. So the structure of the, um, the formula is very very easily adjustable. So as you might have noticed I didn't use an extract. Instead of the extract I use the saccharomyces pheromone which is 30 percent. Okay so here um, you don't need to adjust much just keep the emulsifier to one percent to two percent so don't change that. Second thing is you can add it as your extracts. So anything that you add or subtract, you just need to adjust from the water. Okay. Um, if you don't have saccharomyces ferment, maybe just just leave it. Just use maybe water, or maybe if you want to use some floral water, you can. So whatever you subtract there, just make sure do your water amount is you know adjusted accordingly. And if you want to use, for example, niacinamide, you can. Uh, you can use more hyaluronic acid if you like it. Or um, this, because this pH is a little bit on the higher end, like around five, I wouldn't add anything acidic. Like don't add acidic extracts here. So it's not like a peeling. But if you want to add, if you want to make it peeling, like if you want to really, like I really want to add acids here, like a HA or BHAs, then you need to keep hyaluronic acid out because hyaluronic acid can't really function under pH 4.5, I believe. So you have to keep the pH out, uh, hyaluronic acid out from the formula and add your AHAs if you want to go to acidic route. If you want to go a little bit higher pH route, then you can keep the hyaluronic acid and you can even add 
uh, vitamin C or niacinamide if you want to keep a little bit things together. So yeah, so that's how you adjust the formula as well. It's very easy, very simple. It's not that complicated. You're doing a nice uh, basic emulsion milk, as I, was, as I mentioned. It's a very easy milk formula, making a makeup remover and uh, refreshes your skin. So this is the end. As I mentioned, uh, I will try to get the uh, cream making as soon as possible. It will just take me a little bit of time because I need to do a couple of um, preparations, obviously. If I can't get it done on time, I will do uh, something else. I'm also thinking of doing a gel cleanser, which is very popular. I see it all around it. Um, I hope to do that. And yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, leave me in the comments. And thanks for watching. And again, please, I really appreciate if you can vote for the lip mask, for my lip mask on the uh, description, the link below, um, and fingers crossed. And if I win, I may give you, I won't give you the full formula because I'm selling it, but I may give you a little bit similar formula for you to play around. And if you want to make a lip mask, um, some kind of tips how to maybe formulating with the lip mask as well. So. Yes, thank you for watching. Until then, again, if you have any questions, leave in the comments. Until then, see you later. Take care. Bye.